told me this like personally so I'm, I'm literally I'm putting y'all on game I'm, I'm telling y'all the secrets <laughs> not the secrets no for real take we, note just like you we go like after we have like a rush we have off of accomplishments it is the same feeling of like exhilaration Endorphins. you know oh! and, and, and that's what I'm saying it sounds that crazy and it yeah. sounds that but my fr I'm not say it's, okay, I have a guy friend that said once he gets what he wants after doing everything he had to do the point still stands that I got what I want and the feeling is just out of this world Wait. it will be that frustrating <gasps> and it will be that tiring but we will never understand it it's exactly what you say how it's more of an accomplishment yeah okay like <laughs> <laughs> the punani is very quality, da -da -da -da. you know, it just attracts. Like, is it magic. though? You can find girls that want it really bad too, and he can just That's sleep with whoever. That. But, but if it's, it's, not, it's not just for that I though, it's for the chase, it's, it's the thrill of the hunch. It's not, it's not every girl that'll say, yeah, it's the ones that'll say no. Yeah. That she will go for and then 100%. Whether you're spending money, you're taking them out, you're texting them nonstop, you're swiping up on stories all the time. Yeah. Because it's the thrill of the what exactly. the shit. You're pretty mm -hmm. and you have all these things going for you. Like, yeah, your buddy's just on mm -hmm. check, 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 and everything about you is this and that. Mm -hmm. And they, they want you, and it's you're like saying no, and you're saying no, and you're saying no, and you're saying no again. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're gonna keep swiping Bro, up. They're gonna keep the taking you out. They're gonna literally. keep buying you food. They're gonna keep buying your Grubhub and your DoorDash and all the outfits. You, they're gonna keep doing it until mm -hmm. eventually you say yes after all that's said and done it's really sad you know it's sad. like come on man no is it like yeah. be able to put that aside even if you're not even like all in it with the whole okay yeah relationship goals i'm waiting all of that extra stuff i feel like you should have a little little <laughs> level of like principle in and your respect life. for respect. yourself that you're, Why you that you're living some... through like yeah. you should not just be saying oh yeah because i know i'm gonna hit i'm gonna do it all i'm gonna risk it all like don't it's and okay. Niggas really be yeah. like that. And then at the end of the day, like really one, you don't know who you're hurting. Yeah. Secondly, you don't know who's gonna play you and do it right back to you. Uh, exactly. Like, and I know y'all seen that one game. It's a fine line between love and hate with yeah. Mike Lawrence, and he got that ass eight. I ain't getting in no motherfucking tub. Get in the tub. <laughs> because he was what trying to fuck. That's what <laughs> Ass. She literally almost killed him. So I'm not saying anybody's gonna die or anything, but like, you don't know who is what. Crazy, what female is loco enough to fuck your life up? Oh, right. And you guys are deep. so 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 small minded. I'm telling you, we've we've been doing this. Like we've been getting our feelings hurt and been building back. And you and know what? We've struggled all. And that's what I'm saying. We've been struggling oh, right back us? from it. We 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 get our feelings hurt. We get all these different things happen to us. And the guys, y'all with y'all, y'all are you people are are like this. You're like literally 
grains of rice. It takes <laughs> one time. No, it literally takes rice. one time for you guys to get your feelings. Of rice. No, I'm serious. It takes one time for y'all to get y'all's feelings hurt, and y'all change as people. I've seen it. With that's why, niggas. Every time you meet a dude that's ever been cheated on, you know. That's why I don't get close to people. That's why. And it's once. That's you why think it wasn't more than once. So I asked that guy. I promise. <laughs> it was one time that you guys feelings hurt. How many times have it. you stepped out on your relationship? Mm -hmm. What are your top three turnoffs, whether it be, and you can only pick? Ooh. And you, there's no three for personality and three for physical. Three total. Three total. Thanks. Dang, okay, actually, that guy will not do that. Three so, and three. Three I'm physical and three just character traits. Um, personality wise, I, um, I'm huge on, I'm huge on, uh, respect. Mm. Um, <laughs> so respect is a big thing. That's one. The so second one is, uh, caring. I really want somebody um, who's very, very caring. And honestly, I take back respect. It's very important, but I think integrity encompasses mm. honesty and oh, doing goodness. what you say you're gonna do and all the good ones. and loyalty. So yeah, integrity, c kindness. Like this caring kindness, I need to have that. And the last one is. Are you ready to <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. I thought okay. it was funny. I'm single way to mingle, you know, I can make you laugh, you know how you know what I'm saying, see how all of them jumped out, I got you. Who is you? Hit me it's, up. I want Add my know. Instagram, Dami Lola. Dami. <laughs> I'm not gonna delete you from the video. We're gonna delete this you are we're gonna delete you from the video. You're gonna blur me out. Yeah, bro. It's gonna be pixelated. <laughs> Thank you. Um integrity, um, kindness slash caring, and I need somebody who can make me laugh because I think that's very important to me. Um I don't want no dull personality, please. It. it just won't work. Mm -hmm. And I'm very goofy, so it just won't work. I'm 5'9", almost 5'10", I would say. Please. I just need a man who is 6'1". <laughs> That's 6'1 and above is the minimum. I even some... But he's 6 foot. Yeah. Can I wear heels and still be... T uh, am I still like... So you won't? He has to be the same height as me, minimum, with so heels on. So he has on. everything. He's six feet. <laughs> Does he the same height as me with heels on? Yeah. Okay, I can I can manage that. If he if God says he's you have to be with heels on. If God says that's me. No, God <laughs> wouldn't do that to me. Damn. What if somebody else balances that? What if he's a billionaire? Just come with open eyes, shine her eyes. You'd be surprised. Oh, she Um. So height is a big thing. Um. I need you to be in shape. I always say this. As a man. Oh, I'm kinda like you don't want, you want like a nice dad bod? No. I don't have an As excuse. a man, you don't have an excuse. The reason, the reason being is because women, we go through so many changes hormonally. I mean like with the periods every single month, childbirth, things like that. We gain uh, weight faster. Like there's a lot of stuff <laughs> that goes into our weight. But I mean, as a man, what is causing you not to be? I just want to know. Like, what's causing you not to be in shape? Gambling. Simple, isn't it? I like my niggas just gambling. So, skinny <laughs> niggas. I do. And I'm a big. Not like scrawny, you know. And they're then, slim. It might. So, there you I like go. Y'all, this, this is all that I gotta cut out. Y'all talking. Y'all know this ain't gonna make the video. <laughs> Like, there's no talking. Damn. I gotta cut that. And I was just watching them have a conversation. Yeah, I mean, I don't mean break the bone. Not just me, skinny. Just talking. I like that. Third one is I'm a big smile person. So, I love straight teeth. But, I even made an exception later on in my life. I found somebody who I love. And, he doesn't have the most perfect teeth. But, they're white. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. You're mad. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you are you joking? <laughs> Anyways, he doesn't have the most straightest smile, but it's like one of the most beautiful smiles I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's not the white. He's a celebrity, CG. Don't yeah, cry. don't all hurt. He just after you just put me out there like that. I'm crying. Okay. This is very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all some haters. It's like, like snatch them Shirley Temple curls. <laughs> um, some people are bald and they're mad at me. <laughs> pull it, pull it. Periana. Oh, come on, it's, it's still going. Periana. It's still going. Periana. Hey, disclaimer. Disclaimer. You gotta be a man of God. Period. Next. Yeah, the, the, the wing is very pullable. It's time to. Um, Okay, personality trait. He has to. Okay, I always say this weird, and people get confused as to what I I mean. But 
this nigga, like, you don't have to be, like, a scholar or nothing, but you have to, like, sound educated, right? You have to be able to communicate about, like, things that are bigger than, like, 2K. Personality trait, personality trait. Um, yeah, I think you just have to have, like, a good sense of humor. Um, honestly. You have to have a good sense of humor. You can't take yourself too seriously. And then, I'm gonna steal Jessica's because it was a good one and it encompasses everything else. Integrity. Mm -hmm. You have to be a person of character. And you have to have standards and morals. It's not just when you're meeting me that you're developing some okay. color, but mm -mm. Mm -mm. it must have been before. <laughs> it must have been before. Yeah. Physical traits. Um, you need to be taller than me it's by like, about a couple of inches. It's not, I mean, Whatever. If we're talking preference, I would prefer you to be dark skinned. Um, <laughs> and what else? I have to find you really, really attractive. You have anything else that makes a nigga more attractive? I just, I need you to be able to like, like I need to feel like you see me. You know what I'm saying? Like you can really like, something about the eyes. I don't know what it is, but I know when I see it, about the eyes. Okay, my turn. Um, characteristic traits. Um, one of them is besides oh we already said the whole god fair thing. Um one, I need you to be able to communicate. I hate mm. people who just like you're talking to them and just like, I mean, it's just a vibe. <sighs> We're just chilling. Oh, yeah, somebody somebody they're upset and they said, I'll call you back, bro. Right. <laughs> like you can't express your thoughts. You can't just, you know, yeah, in a respectful manner. You don't have to be bitch you got me fuck you don't gotta do all that. You just yo, bro, I'm not really trying to you don't even do that either. Just like being able to communicate. Yeah. So that um, with what Jessica said, because that's really very important to me, having integrity. Like, you should be able to be a man of your word, and I know that if you say something, mm -hmm. that's it. That's what you're going to do. That's what it, it's going to be. None of that extra shit. Um, and the third one, I have so many. But I think oh I can God. add, I can also add um, you being um, very much so caring like i want mm. to feel like That's you kindness. can like take care of me not financially yes financially because we're spending your money oh, but it's that simple yeah we're spending make your, your own spend his yeah being able to be emotionally vulnerable with you and know that you're not going to take it for granted or say some humbug shit you're gonna you're not humbug yeah because y'all be on that humbug shit you know how you'll spill your guts to a nigga and he'll say damn oh no he'll say damn or, or wrong one. Wrong one. That's, that's crazy they don't that one go out eat some, some cake, cake. Ah! i'm about to shoot you go bye i'm about to shoot you yeah bye I I'm, I'm actually triggered. I don't want to talk <laughs> about that. Okay, and then physical. Oh, I love a nice smile. You know, a smile that can light up the world. You know, the, just just a smile. The smile is really a million dollar thing. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really like guys that can just like dress, but not like a. I'm I'm a creative ass dresser. Like <laughs> like a, like a so pick me. Yeah, like you can actually like you can dress and it's it's not pick me, it's not any of that and you have the you have the jewelry. Oh my god. My my heart actually will start melting. I like the jewelry. Yeah, so dramatic. The so hoop. dramatic. I mean, the no, hoop. She's just really specific. No, the hoop. No, I just want you to look good, <sighs> smell good, you I'll know, be attractive. Category. I can do that. I, don't I know, know I'm five three. You have more than me. But I want I'm someone so who's like. You're just gonna irritate. Gonna irritate As in, me I was like five was about, three, and you wanted like a six, a, a, almost a foot taller than you. <laughs> Ideally, my I get back to <laughs> What the hell, me? I my I tried to kiss you. Your neck would be bending me. <laughs> my ideal height what is, is like. Six, one. I feel like guys don't like to feel vulnerable, so they don't want to be factors. So we'll get into that all the time and shit. That's really dead. But one thing for me. <laughs> Let this girl finish her stuff. I got to do the the buns on her head. Don't do that. They really like took a while to do. <laughs> this is because like I've been going to school in Texas. This is really important to me. I need. I think Texas guys like to like one up you a lot. So I need somebody that's really I totally compassionate. Totally forgot all about that. I need someone that's actually really compassionate you wanna... and the, um, give a good example of a one-up. One-up as in, because a lot of them are creatives, they will make you feel as though you have nothing no, going right. for yourself. Who is, who that's is who we got? Oh! 
I have to change one of mine. Because you know what's at the root of a lot of this rubbish? Emotional unavailability, one-upping, all this rubbish. Insecurity! Yeah, this, this could be just across the board, but I can say so I, it's just been Texas guys for me. Like, with all the clout and everything they have, and just everybody... I don't think everyone genuinely wants to be creative, but everyone sees everyone Bro. being a creative. Everyone sees people creating clothing lines and making YouTube channels. And no one's saying you don't have to don't venture off into are. those things, but they're doing those things and mm -hmm. they want to make you feel less than if you're not doing what mm -hmm. they feel is the norm. So, and I feel like that just comes with compassion and a lot of them don't, they don't talk to you or treat you with compassion, even in the getting to know you stage. And I just feel like I'm a very ambitious person, so I want you to be super ambitious. Like, like what Jessica said, like the integrity, loyalty. I'm very big on just, you know, that loyal part. And the physical something, the height, the nice teeth, the nice teeth, and the arms. I am big on the shoulders. The, and you can see the defining somethings, the defining somethings at the top of your arm. Can I just don't like bald men. Like, shout yeah. out to y'all. Oh my gosh. Like, like, they're they're so I prefer burnt uh, guys. Like, Red Crystal, she's a bald man advocate. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I really hope this video was entertaining. Thanks for coming to my channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see any more videos like this, let me know. Um, comment, like, subscribe, share. The legal limit is 10 people, please, guys. Don't now go and eat in restaurants. And be having kickbacks. Stay home. Please. Stay home. <laughs> stay home. I the video. Nigga, forget. Stay home, stay safe, and stay blessed. Erin!